Hello. Hey, how's it going? I'm all right. So, you nice to okay? see you again. Good. Good morning, Greg. Sure. How you doing? Nice all right, all right. This is Kelby Cousin. Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Take your own look. You know, introduce you to Mr. Lewis. You know, how's your family doing? Oh, man, we just waking up. Okay. The last time we were here, we were talking about Jesus not being fully God. Okay. I think that's the last thing that we were, we were discussing. Okay. Um, Are you, do you believe in the Trinity? I do. Okay. So Trinity common is, you know, God, the Father. Right. God, the Father, mm -hmm. Jesus, and the Holy Spirit all one. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, so let me ask you, um, when Jesus was praying, who was he praying to? The Father. Okay. But if he's one, so is he praying to himself? Christ is God's only begotten Son, right? Mm -hmm. The scriptures tell us that, mm -hmm. right? So he was created by Jehovah directly, right? And then all other things came into existence through Christ. And the Bible teaches that. Mm -hmm. Can you show me that? Yeah. Right. So he's created. Yeah. And going back to the to the Trinity and my perspective, I think of it as how mm -hmm. they're all they have different roles. Mm -hmm. Like where it says, you know, no one knows that I'm coming in, not even the sun. So they, they have different roles, but they're, they're still one God in essence. You know, like, for example, like me and my son, mm -hmm. you know, we're, we're playing a role. Oh, I'm, absolutely. Great, I'm greater than him a role. Absolutely. But as far as human essence, me and him are both human. The way God and the Father can both be God, but the Father has a higher role. Right. But that's how I... Right, how I perceive the, no, I, the Trinity. I get it, and a lot of people just perceive it very differently, and that's why I was asking, how do you perceive it? Because I have spoken to people who have various views of the Trinity, and I find it very, I find it fascinating because it is somewhat perspective, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, we want to look at what the scriptures say mm -hmm. and be guided by that, right? Mm -hmm. and as far as the only begotten Son, um, there's several scriptures. But in John 3, 16, God loved the world so much that he gave his only begotten son so that everyone exercising faith in him might not be destroyed but have everlasting life. And then it's, if you look at 17, it's for God did not send his son into the world for him to judge the world, but for the world to be saved through him. But I'm talking about the created part. Oh, the right. So when it came to... The out here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how did Jesus come into existence, you think? Well, it, it says the Bible says that. Right. So, but, but the Bible but, also teaches that Jesus was here, you know, e eternally in the beginning as well. And he created all things. So how, can you, how can you not be eternal, right? but have created all things? So, all right, so let me ask you this. Yeah. If the Bible says the Father mm -hmm. created all things, mm -hmm. then it also says the Son created all things. Mm -hmm. Doesn't what does that mean to you? The Bible doesn't specifically say the Father created the Son at this point. Well, only begotten. Okay. So what does only begotten mean? What does that mean? So it means the the basically is created directly by, right? So so mm -hmm. if he's created, mm -hmm. that would mean he's not eternal. Because eternal means you had to be forever. The definition fully of eternal doesn't mean okay. that you had a, a, a beginning. Mm -hmm. Because we believe God the Father, I need to draw like a better part. God the I, Father I, I <laughs> is eternal, mm -hmm. but you, you guys agree he didn't have a beginning. So well, let's go back to but your... Do you believe that he had a beginning? God no, no. He doesn't right, have so a beginning. Would, exactly. Wouldn't that be the full definition of eternal? I get you. Because Isaiah 44. Mm -hmm. It says, I am the first and I am the last. There is no God but me. Mm -hmm. And then if you go to Revelation 22, 12, mm -hmm. uh, 13, 22, 13. 22, 13. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He says, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. So, he, so then you read, you had the Father saying, mm -hmm. I'm the first and the last. Mm -hmm. And now you had the Son saying, I'm the first and the last. So I'm saying, mm -hmm. how do you reconcile that if they're not, mm -hmm. one if they're not the same? But, but who said this in Revelation? Isn't, isn't that Jesus talking? Mm -hmm. If you look back, it's right he said to me these are faithful and true yes jehovah the god who inspired the prophets 
I said, just able to show his hand to things that must take place shortly. So John is revealing his revelation, right? That he the vision Look, that I'm he received. Coming quickly. Right, I'm coming. Who's coming quickly? Jesus. He makes to talk about Jehovah. Happy is anyone observing the words of the prophecy of the scroll. Now, John did see the Lamb, right? But if you look at it, he says, but he says, but he tells me, this is the angel talking to John, be careful, do not do that. I am only a fellow slave of you and your brothers, the prophets. So John was getting this revelation from the angel. God is talking to this angel, right? To John, giving him this prophecy. So who's talking in 16? So when you see, no, well, you're, you're right. So. This is, again, John is receiving this vision, mm -hmm. and he says, and so, look, I'm coming quickly, and the reward I give is with me to repay each one according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, right? Mm -hmm. So, Jehovah is giving John this vision, right, which John is receiving through, through the angel, right, because he was going to bow down and worship the angel. And he said, no, don't do that. We're, we're brothers. We're basically right. on the same. If you keep going down to 16. If you go 16. Now it says, I, Jesus, sent my angel to bear witness to you about these passages. Right? So it's in quotes. It's in so, quotes. So all of this is. is... It's, it's quoting, right? It's mm -hmm. in quotes, mm -hmm. right? But it's not quoting God. It's quote. It's quoting. It's not quoting Jesus, I should say. Right? Because Jesus is not. Saying he's the Alpha and the Omega, he's the only beginning, he's the first and the last, that belongs to Jehovah, right? But he's also said in here, he, talking about the Lamb, <laughs> talking about the Lamb, and talking about the, being the bride of David and the stars, which is the congregations, right? So he's not talking about it in the sense of the Alpha and the Omega of being God, right? He's talking about, um, in this sense, he's receiving a vision and talking about what it is that the lamb, the role of the lamb, washing, uh, washing, basically exercising faith in the Messiah, as well as he's talking about um, what's to come for the congregation. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to read through that, yeah, through that again. Yeah, please. But I was always it. under the impression mm -hmm. that the, that this revelation to John was coming from Jesus. Well, Jesus. And, and, and a lot of people were. A lot of but people it, but are. But it says in a couple of verses later that that's Jesus. And it him. says Jesus, yeah. So so, so, so how, I'm, do, I'm we, how right. do we figure out that that's, that's not Jesus in twelve? Well, because we know that Jesus is not the beginning and the end but in the, the point, sense. That's the point that I'm right. trying, that I'm trying to make. I got you. I got you. And then it says the one who bears witness, I right, yes, I am coming quickly. Amen, come Lord Jesus, right? So we have to understand you're right. Is it, is it Jesus? Are we talking about Jesus coming back? Isn't that isn't that the whole thing? Jesus coming back? I get what you're saying. So you're talking about so Jesus will come back in the sense of rendering judgment on behalf of God. Yes, you're right. That is true. And it talks about Jesus coming back and the to give reward to those who, who you know who who serve him. Jesus right. will be a judge. You're right. So when it says, Look, I am coming quickly and the reward I give is with me to repay each one, mm -hmm. that's not that has to be Jesus talking. Mm -hmm. And then and okay. then the next Okay, I see what you're saying. I am the Alpha the Omega. I see what you're saying. I see what that. you're saying, but not not in that and not in that sense of being first and last like God. Right? But then you say we gotta go by what the what the scripture says you do. Our... You, we're not. We're not adding. I'm not adding to it mm -hmm. by no means. Not in the sense of him being God, right? Because then the other scripture is uh, John, First uh, John five and seven. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna read it from says, the King James. I'm yeah, this. please. It says, "For there are three that be erected in heaven: the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And these three are one." But in the Jehovah's Witness Bible, <laughs> there are three witness bearers. Cuts out that cuts out that last line, and it skips to, to verse eight. So I, I got it. I got it right here. Mm -hmm. JW. Mm -hmm. So I, I got that seven. It just stops right there. Mm -hmm. But then in the actual King James, it gives you the whole thing. So I guess my question is, did you read eight? Yes. 
So eight they're talking about in earth. And there are three that bear witness in earth. But seven is there are three that, that bear witness in heaven. Mm-hmm. So there's a, thing, a distinction between seven and eight. Mm-hmm. So I guess my question is, who gives the authority to say, let me take this? Because the King James knows first. Who gives the authority to say, let me remove this part? Mm-hmm. From the, like, you, like, as a gentleman, do you ever think about that part? Like, why is this verse deleted? Okay, I can, I can, I can, I can answer that. Yeah. We're not allowed to alter God's word, right? So let's go back to the original text. The Greek. Right? The Greek text. Well, the King James, King James Bible, right? It's supposed to be pulled from the Greek text. Mm-hmm. Yeah, was, the, was that, was that in the original text? Yeah. You sure? I've been researching this. Okay. And the point in Greek, if you go go back, go back further. Was that in the original? Go back to um um why is his name escaping me right now? It'll it'll come to me. No, no go back to it's a it's a oh, yeah, Bible yeah. writer, several several Bible writers in, in modern time not modern times, mm-hmm. but in those times. Some things were inserted in the scriptures. But they don't belong there, right? Whereas, but see, and that's 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 what I'm saying. Who who has the authority has the to authority. make that decision? Because and no disrespect, no, no, you're that, fine. But you have the King James that's been for hundreds, and several years. hundreds of years. But why was the King James? Well, and then written? you have the Jehovah's Witness Bible that came in the fifties. No, no, it didn't come in the fifties. So the New World Translation is. Based off of the King James Bible, right? So you, that's but, a source, and then you have no. The source is the we go said, back. We no, go back said, further. If you said based, I mean, well, what, what I say is based it. off of it. What it does is it takes the Bible, the scriptures, mm-hmm. right? And instead of the ye, they, thou art, right? Which we don't speak that language. No, no, the old English we get that part. We get, but this is not right. that. This is this. This scripture is is specifically removing the the the. The credit given but what, to the but did three it belong? But did it belong there in the first place? And my question is, right. who is, is it Charles K. Drucken? Who is the person? No. <laughs> but who is, well, doesn't the Bible say, don't remove anything? Right, but does the Bible say, does, what does the Bible say about adding? Yeah, you shouldn't add or take away. Okay. I get, I get like, what you're saying. Backspace. I get you. So I'm like, <laughs> like, like what, what is saying. the reasoning for that? But was it there in the first place? And that's if we, if we go back further in the original text, right, we go back to the Dead Sea Scrolls, we go back to um, and other biblical sources, true biblical sources, mm-hmm. right? Was it there? Okay, but I'm not sure. If you find it there, then how do you reconcile that? What is that? If it was there, then it would be here. Okay, but but this um, New World Translation, mm-hmm. wasn't that founded, but didn't that start in the 1950s? No. When did that, when no, that, and I'm yeah. open to the idea that I don't know it all. Yeah, and that I could be wrong. I, I feel like we all can be wrong. Like you know, like we can't. Like I said, we can't all I can pretend that like we know everything. everything. So I'm definitely Correct. Research. <laughs> I agree with you. I definitely agree with you there. And if I can leave you with one thing, you yeah, know, I have to answer it now. You this could be something like that you think about. Fine. And I don't, I don't mean it to come off no kind of way. No, you good. But when I when I do the, my research, it leads me down a path of stuff. And I'm like, oh, I gotta ask him. <laughs> So, I, I can find the scripture. It's in Deuteronomy. Mm-hmm. It's where it's saying, you know, if you prophesy my name, or you say something that's going to come to pass, and it doesn't happen, it says to not fear that person. They are not a person of God. Or, in Deuteronomy, I can find the exact okay. scripture, but that's, that's, okay. I'm paraphrasing what it says. Okay. So, when your organization has made claim that the world is going to end in certain years, and they prophesy, and God's saying it didn't happen, how do you guys reconcile that? You're right. So I remember in Niagara, I've, I've like read. It's like 10 different. I've read. No, I won't say 10 different. I remember 1974, 75 or 4, yeah. 75. Okay, the scriptures are lining up, prophecies lining up. This is it, right? We're going to see the end. But yet, let's go back to the one scripture that you quoted today, right? Mm-hmm. No one knows the end but whom. Father. And and now the son, right? Because Jesus knows fully well, right? So 
Yes. Have Jehovah's Witnesses thought something mistakenly? Yes. Okay. Uh, not, not, we're not going to sit up here and be like, oh, and, oh, and again, we're I'm not, not, I'm not no, trying to, trying no, to no, no, you're not, you're but not, I'm just saying, like, I'm not insulted, because it's a great question. I mean, like, Charles, he really thought that, so he sold off all his stores, all his millions of dollars of merchandise, his followers sold stuff, because they thought it was an end, it didn't they happen. They thought it was the <laughs> end. Had amazing people they had him mm -hmm. So, outside of religion, if I'm just a, a logical person, mm -hmm. or matter of fact, skeptical myself. And I, and I I don't I don't know what side of the fence to come on to, mm -hmm. to go to. And if I if I research this and I say, hey, you know, this guy studied with theology, he was part of the church and he left it, and he joined this religion, he didn't like it, then he came back over. Still didn't like it, then changed some things, and then now this is what I have. And then said a lot of things were gonna happen that didn't happen. I feel like I would be a little if he had question marks, why would I follow that? I got you. From a from a skeptical, logical I got you. perspective. I, I got you. Yeah. But you know what's funny? Chat, Charles Taz Russell is yeah. not believe it. Well, he founded it. Not found it. So wait, you're saying Charles is not the founder of Dublin? No. I feel like man at some point with his ego and bravado. <laughs> okay, we're going to do things there my you way go. versus there you what's go. actually there you go. in the Bible. There you go. You're, you're, and you're on point with that, right? right. So you're right. So but how I, did I, we? But I guess what I'm saying is, how do we deviate? I feel like the the, the home and spits under that umbrella that they said. Okay. That agreed to quit. <laughs> okay. No, it's fine. Yeah. No, it's fine. And that's why you're non-denominational because mm -hmm. what you're trying to do is adhere to the scripture, mm -hmm. right? Rather than um, traditions, traditions, set and set by man, mm -hmm. right? This is no knock against you. No, you're no. you're actually trying to do the right thing. You're actually trying to do the right thing, and you're trying to live by what the scriptures say. You believe in Christ. You believe he was the Messiah, right? You believe in the ransom sacrifice, obviously, because you believe that he died for our sins. I also believe he's everlasting life. Okay. That's what I'm, I'm not. But, but you're probably saying that, too. I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not going to, okay, I'm okay. not going to knock. I'm not knocking anything you okay. say. We'll get into that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get into that. Well, I, I like a good conversation, hey, hey. and I love your question. Sure. 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 Yeah. Again, give me your name. Right. Right. I got it. Right. Thank like, you. Yeah. Again. Yeah. 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 No, I'm sorry. Let me take away family yeah. time. No, 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 no. Hey, I, I, I have my, my things are on deck. I'm waiting I got you. Like, and the last time you came, it was cold. <laughs> yeah, it was cold. That's all right. But we had a good first conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's just like you said, it's just building. It's not, you know, it's not versus. It's just building. Yeah, and I don't have something to walk away from. I'm not taking nothing. It's not. Exactly. So let's find the answers. All right. All right, bro. Hey, y'all have a good rest Boy, of the weekend. Yeah. Take All right. Likewise. All right.